Hi everyone. Today we would like to share several tips to keep away from static electricity shock when using laptops. Also, how to expect if the socket you're using is grounded or not. To avoid the laptop getting static electricity, there are several tips to prevent your laptop from building static electricity. First, to use the power cord from the laptop manufacturer. Second, use the adapter with the grounded power cord and do not remove it. Third, use a grounded extension cord. Fourth, when connecting a grounded plug to an ungrounded socket, must use an adapter with an extra ground wire. However, sockets may vary from region. The most important thing is to make sure the socket is grounded. In the following video, we would like to introduce how to confirm if the socket is grounded. Before performing the following procedure, please take the necessary precaution to ensure your safety and evaluate your ability to handle the procedure. Before we start, make sure you have the tool and equipment below, including a multimeter and a pair of insulating gloves. First, we need to confirm if the socket has a ground wire. Please note that the color-coded wire system varies from region. Each wire has its own color and each color will represent different types of wires. So, make sure you look into the located region and understand what these color means in your region for safety reasons. Live wire, as known as hot wire, carries a high voltage and is always carrying an electrical current as long as it's connected to the power source. Neutral wire For the electrical distribution system to work in your house, the current has to complete a circuit. The neutral wire carries the electricity back to the power source and also directs the current to the ground. Earth wire The earth wire is for extra protection. You may not be able to find an earth wire in a junction box or receptacle in an older house. Let's move on to our main topic, how to expect if the socket is grounded or not by using a multimeter. We will use a grounded extension cord and an ungrounded extension cord for demonstration. Turn on the multimeter to set the multimeter to voltage. Inspect the socket with the multimeter to ensure the voltage of the socket falls within a normal range, depending on the region, of course. For example, we use 110 volts in my location. It will be an important step to ensure the following tests are based on an authentic standard. Measure the voltage between the live and ground wires on the grounded cord. If the measured result is close to the live and neutral wires as 110 voltage, it means the earth wire is active. However, if it is not grounded, the voltage will be around 45. Next, we can measure the voltage between the neutral and earth. The measured value should be in the range of 1 to 3, and the ideal value is 0. If a measurement between neutral and ground shows a value that is out of range, like here, it shows 40 volts. It means that it is not properly grounded. Additionally, there are many tools on the market that can detect socket grounded. We will demonstrate the use of one of the socket testers, which is MET AC11. These socket testers can measure the maximum voltage up to 250 and is very easy to use. You can check the socket status by just looking at the screen after plugging it into the socket. When all these three circles are lit, it means the socket is wired properly and correctly. If you see the L symbol in the lower left corner is blinking, it means that the neutral wires are missing. On the other hand, if you see the E symbol on the top of the string is blinking, it means that the earth wire is missing. The lake of ground wire will cause laptop with a metal case to build up the electric charge, causing static electricity shock when touching the laptop. 
That's all for today's video about how to check if the socket is earthed by using a multimeter. This video only provides a quick way to confirm if the power socket is grounded. And if you would like to know if all the power socket in your house is actually grounded or not, please seek professional for advice. And if you like our videos, please give us a like and subscribe, and we will see you in our next video.